Hello and happy Friday! I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today on Fluke Fridays this is episode number 104 and what we're going to be talking about is a multimeter from Fluke that also has a thermal imager built into it. So we're going to dive into the tool itself, kind of show you a little bit about it and give you a couple of tips and tricks when you're using it. So here we go. Okay so we have the Fluke 279 FC and Unlike some multimeters where you just turn the knob to the on position to get it to turn on, you actually have a power button. So you do have this green power button you have to turn on. And you're going to see a couple other um, soft buttons as it boots up. Let's take a look on the other side so, so you guys can see kind of other things that it has. You have a USB cable. I think you can do charging through that as well as um, interface with the PC. And then you get back here and you get to the thermal imaging lens with a little cover that you can snap down or lift up based on what you need. And back here, you've got the battery compartment and it is not your typical AA or nine volt. It's actually a rechargeable battery. Same battery that the higher end let me get that in focus. Same battery that the higher end thermal imagers have in them with a little battery gauge in it. Okay. To put that back on, you just kind of got to pull the rubber boot to the side. All right. So now we've got this beautiful screen here on the 279. So really nice and easy to see if you just want to use it as a multimeter. Great backlit screen. You've got AC voltage. You've got DC voltage. Obviously, you see it's got a low-pass filter in it. I've got other videos on that. If you're curious, just go to my YouTube channel in a browser window, not on your phone. And you can actually search. If you go to my channel, you can actually search the videos in my just in my channel um, with the magnifying glass. So that's kind of fun. Okay. Now you get millivolts. Then you get both resistance and capacitance. Capacitance being if you hit the yellow function key so on and so forth. We're going to have continuity and diode test, iFlex. The iFlex actually comes with it, so yeah, that's why it's got this funky little port over here, and that gives you the ability to measure up to 2,500 amps AC. And then your IR camera, and that's what you bought this tool for, hopefully, if you bought one. So you can see, I put my hand back there, you can measure temperature. It's only going to give you the temperature reading in the middle screen the middle of the screen um and you can mess with emis 78 capture the images and so on and so forth okay hit save um you can change the brightness of the screen min max setup okay so you can change if you want to these are become function keys so you can just scroll down um and you can change it to different temperature ranges and so on device info let's click that view okay and then all the device info okay so really cool little uh multimeter has the thermal imager built into it got customers that really like this form factor um one thing i had a customer ask recently was what about a T-Pack or the magnet packs that hold these things up? Will it work with this? Well, it doesn't have the typical half moon cutout like your other multimeters will have in it to slide in. But this little strap right here, so you won't use the plastic piece. You'll just run the um, Velcro cord right through here and then through your, um, through your magnet and you're good to go and then it can be used. So yes, you can use a T-Pack with this tool. Anyways, why would somebody buy this tool? Really, it's all about if you want a multimeter that has a thermal imager built into it, this is your tool and kind of kind of a cool little concept. If you own one of these, leave the comments below. If you have any uh, thoughts, whether positive or negative, leave those in the comments and let us know. Hope you guys are doing well and have a great weekend. Sorry I missed you last week. I was actually off and I just didn't make time to make a video. You guys have a good weekend. Take care.